Hey everybody, it's Tribenix here, and in this video, it's an unboxing from the cubicle.us. Let's get started. Before I get into this package, I'm just going to let you know why I haven't been able to post videos in the past week. I haven't been able to post videos in the past week because I was on vacation. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's get into this package. It is open, as you can tell. Time to start pulling stuff out. Posting inside is a receipt, which I do not need. And the first actual product inside is a... Penrose keychain because I received one of these for my birthday and it was completely destroyed. Now here's the replacement. Put this over here. Next thing inside, the Yushin Little Magic 2x2. Put this to the side. One I am most excited for, or somewhat most excited for, a new windmill cube. Next we have, this is probably another really fun product. Yes it is. It is a... I can't tell what this is. Oh, I think this is the cube style... Cube style twisty 3x3. Three three. I'm not 100% sure. Put that aside. And what I'm most excited for is... You see? The Vogue 3 Mini. I will open this up and do first impressions in this video. And then we have stickers for my Exxon Bell Pyramix and this Vault Cube right here. They're right here. Okay, the stickers. Anything else in here? No. Package away. Now time to get into this Mini Vault 3. This should be the limited edition Mini Vault 3 because there are some left in stock. And it is. Here it is. If I could pull it out. I got this because I'm like a limited edition collector cube where I like to collect limited edition products. I was debating between this and the limited edition Waylon GTS 2, but I just went with this because this pink is really cool. And I already have a magnetic 3x3. Now I'm gonna open the plastic. It's open. Get the cube out. Here's the cube, it's really small. The reason I got this is because I need a new one-handed man because I sold my net of competition. First impressions. I can already tell this feels like a vault. I will do a setup video of this in the future, like sometime next week. I will do a setup video of this and of the excellent Bell Pyramix, which is why I got these stickers. So that is the Mini Vault 3. Now into the other half of the box. We have this. It's a little pamphlet. I don't I know what's in here. I've seen videos on this. It's open. Do, 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 do. It's just a Volk sticker. Picture of Matt's Volk and a little guide like about him or something. Matt's Volk signature. Volk 3 limited edition thinny. Stronger than strong little Volk 3 thinny. Matt's Volk signature. I already went over that. More. Matt's Vault QR codes and such, and then an introduction video thingy. That's what's in the little pamphlet thingy. And then in this other side should be the stickers. It comes with two sets of stickers and Vault logos on it. And then some pieces in case some break. It's a edge and a corner piece. That is the Mini Vault 3. Now on to the next cube. The next cube I'll do first impressions of is the Little Magic 2x2. Two two. This box is kind of already destroyed, so I don't care if I ruin it. But there we go, it's open. No plastic, and then we have a 2x2 two two guide. Here it is, I got it in stickerless. I was kind of expecting for this cube to come loose because I had a Little Magic 3x3 three three. I've seen in a past unboxing, and... I sold out the competition, that's why I got the cubicle little magic. And this is the little magic 2x2. Two two. It is really good right off the bat out of the box. Loot is it's pretty loose, which is normal for using little magic products. I hope the cubicle comes out the cubicle little magic 2x2M two two because that would be really awesome. Now on to the next cube. The next cube is this. It is the cube twist, I believe. The cube style twisty 3x3. Three three. Oh. I'll have to check my order because this is said to be a life fun product when 
It should have been the cube style product. I'll check my order right now. My order says cube style twisty 3x3. They must have mixed it up or they ran out of cube styles or life on mix cube style. Anyways, comes in this nice little toy bag that you see at like the dollar store, which are hard to open. First impressions, it's smooth. Right off the bat, this is smooth, and it's kind of tight. It's just a twisty 3x3. Three three. So like, this is like a center or an edge, I don't really know. I'm not that good with these like type of twisted 90 degrees puzzles. I'm not that good with that. I can't solve one. It does shape shift though. Here, I'll do a demonstration of it, how it shape shifts. Turn that, and then See, look, it just shape shifts. Then that's this puzzle. I'd recommend this. It's pretty good. And now is the last puzzle of the video. First impressions of the windmill cube. It is really smooth. And it sounds weird. It's dry and smooth. Top layer. Checkerboard pattern. This will be way easier to checkerboard than the carbon fiber one. Checkerboard pattern, it looks like an actual windmill or like a saw blade more than a windmill. Let me put it back to normal. That's why I got this cube, is because of the cool checkerboard pattern. And this is also a really smooth cube, and it is really cool. I'm not going to do first impressions of this because this was a birthday gift and not supposed to be in this video. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions. Like, make sure to like and subscribe to the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.